Hey, what's up guys? This is Bobby, W6IWN. Today we're going to be talking about the Zygu DE19 USB radio interface uh, that you can pair up your Zygu G90 for digital modes. Uh, it also works with some other Zygu radios. Uh, we're going to get to the basics, where the cables go and everything. Just the 101 and then I'll give you some of the tips I went through to hopefully get your setup going a little easier and smoother. Alright, here's all the parts and pieces. Uh, you get the nice uh, USB radio interface, which I think this one's really cool. The, the sound card's built in so you don't have to run extra audio cables to your computer. Just the USB. So the cables included are a USB-C to USB, which uh, obviously the USB-C is going to go in here. And then the other end is going to go to your computer. Uh, an old school 9-pin uh, DIMM. There's only one spot for here on the ACC. And then there's only one spot on your Zygu G90 for that. Uh, the only cable that could be confusing is this uh, 3.5 millimeter audio jack. You have two options here. You have a CIV and a PA. You want to plug this into the CIV for the Zygu G90. And then also on the back of the G90, you can see here you have three potential spots. You don't want to use any of these. And then you have another two here. You want to use this bottom one on the head part. The COM port, that's the same one you would use to update the firmware on the head of your Zygu, not the ones in the back. Alright, let's get into the settings on your radio. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is hit the function button. And then once that's lit up, you want to go and hit the power button. You want to hit it twice until it says input. And then you want to make sure that that is on line. Um, let's see, while you have the function open, you also want to open your filter. So click the filter high. Make sure you spin this all the way to the right. And uh, open up your filter. Then hit the filter low. And then... Uh, Go counterclockwise all the way to the left. Make sure your filter is all the way open. Mine already was, so you didn't see a change. Um, and then you want to go over here. Let's see, let's turn the function button off. Um, you want to make sure your preamp's off and your attenuator. So you'll see a P and an A that keep popping up. You want to hit it until those go away. You don't want either one of those on. Uh, also, there's your audio compression button there. There'll be that little tiny microphone icon. You want to make sure that is off. Um, another thing, your noise blinker. You want to make sure that is set to off. And um, besides that, I think we're uh, about ready. We just need to get on the air and uh, adjust our uh, ALC and our audio levels. All right, now that we're back in the computer and we got pretty much everything ready, uh, I'm at WSJTX in the settings. And now if you've seen this green bar here on the left, that's your input level. And from what I understand, you don't want it to get any more than 65. Um, it will start to turn yellow and then red, uh, which that means your audio is starting to clip and it's going to be hard or impossible to decode. So you, I mean, you don't want that too high. So what you need to do is you need to right click on the speaker down here in the lower right hand corner, go open to sound settings, and then go in here to sound control panel. Uh, and then you wanna go to recording. So that's gonna actually be your, your Zygu in. And then, and then if you select that in properties, you can go to your level here. So if you see I turn it way up, that bar jumped. Um, I know I said 65, however, I'm getting weak signals right now. So I found out that around 40 or 50 works good for me, depending on the signal. Um, I don't, you definitely don't want an eclipse. You're going to have to come in and mess with that. I don't mess with any of this other stuff. Um, I thought I've heard where some people need to click, listen to this device for it to decode them however that hasn't been the case for me 
But if I do want to hear the FTA or the radio through my computer, you do need to select this. I don't want to do it right now because I'm using another microphone. But uh, so you might want to select that. Um, and then, then that's about it for there. And then playback. And uh, there's your out. So you can adjust the levels for that as well. I just kind of left mine at 50 and I did not mess with any of the other stuff. All right. Uh, one last thing we need to adjust is the ALC level with here with the power of the transmit digital gain. Uh, let me get a different camel, camera angle showing the radio and we'll get right to it. All right, now we're ready to transmit and get our ALC level straight. Uh, I recommend using 18 watts. And uh, I do use a fan. There's, there is a fan accessory. Uh, I have a little computer fan. I also have a clip-on fan that I'll, I'll put on. It, it, gets a, it doesn't really get that warm. But yeah, I definitely uh, pay attention to your temperature and uh, run a fan as needed. Uh, however, back to the ALC. So what you're going to want to do is go into transmit. Let me make sure I am some here where no one is transmitting. Find a clear block. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start calling CQ. Bear with us. It's got to get to the next cycle. Okay. See my ALC there? It's at 68. If I want to, if I go down here and I start sliding this bar, okay, I hit 100. I want to. I want to keep it about 95. Uh, you don't want to have it too high or you're going to clip. You, you want to have a nice clean signal. So once again here, it's going to transmit in a second. And you can, you need to watch this. It's going to be different per bands. Um, sometimes it even changes just a little bit. I'll have it 95 and then it will, it'll bump up. Okay, right there. See, it's about 90, 95. See how it went up a little? Oh, 100. So I'm going to bump it back down to about 95. And you want to just keep it there and uh, keep a nice, clean signal uh, and have fun with it. I think that should be about it. And if you're uh, wondering what this thing is on the right, this is Grid Tracker. I'll also put a, a link for that. It's a mapping system. But that's a whole other video. Right on. Thanks for watching. This is W6IWN73.